Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, I am going to be making a DIY farmhouse rustic coffee table. Now, I went to the Home Depot and picked up these 2x6 plywood boards because this is what I'm going to be using to form my tabletop. So this is what my current coffee table looked like. It had the glass top with the dark wood and it was missing glass at the bottom because it broke. Now initially I was going to build the table from start to finish, but I decided to just use the frame of this table since I could easily remove the glass from the top and it was a flat surface. So to complete this, I'm going to be using this wood stain in the color sun bleached. I'm going to use some polyurethane as a clear coating on top of it. And this is for the plywood. And then for the table itself, I'm going to be using this Americana chalk paint. And liquid nails is what I'm going to be using to glue the plywood to the top of this table. So I removed the glass from the top of the table and this is the frame that I'm going to be working with. So to get started staining the wood, I went and purchased a pair of these gloves, a soft cloth, and a paintbrush, all from the Dollar Tree, so that was only $3 for that. And these are the boards that I'm gonna be using. I have them on top of a clear drop cloth. You can buy these from Walmart for 96 cents. So I measured my table and I needed 49 inch pieces of plywood. And as you guys saw in the beginning, it came in this long 16 feet strip of wood. So I was able to get six pieces cut out of those two strips and I only need five to complete the tabletop. One thing I discovered as I started staining is to do a little piece at a time because I didn't want it to be a deep dark gray. I wanted you to still be able to see the natural hue of the wood come out through the stain. So I'm just applying a little bit and then taking my rag and wiping it as I go along. And also this stain comes in multiple colors. So you can use any color stain you would like if you would prefer that it be more brown or a dark wood stain. I just wanted more of a really light gray natural look. So now that I've stained all my pieces, I'm going to apply a coat of polyurethane on top of it just to make it last longer and give it a little shine. And while the wood is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the frame of my table with this chalk paint. I made sure that I made all my strokes in the same direction, especially with this paint because it's kind of thick and gritty. So you can definitely see the streaks in your first coat. So I did end up having to go back over it with a second coat. So this is after I've applied the second coat. It's a lot thicker and you can't see any of the streaks. And I also decided not to paint all of the bottom because I'm going to add a second shelf to the table. So now I'm laying all of my wood on top of the table to see exactly where I want to place each piece before I start to glue it down. So now that I've laid all my pieces down, I'm just going around the table to make sure that all my ends are lined up evenly. So now I'm going to use this liquid nails to glue my pieces to the table and I'm going to start from the middle piece and work my way out on both sides. So this is what the tabletop is looking like right now. So right here I'm using some items to hold it down and add some weight to the table while I let it dry overnight. So it's now the next day and my tabletop is completely dry. The liquid nails has dried. So now I'm going to be adding my bottom shelf using some more plywood boards. 
Okay guys, so that completes my table. I am so in love with the way that it turned out. I really, really like the light whitewash gray color stain. And of course, I'm gonna need to add a little bit of mirror and metal to it to kind of give it a jazzed up look, which just gives me an excuse to go out and buy another tray and some more home decor stuff. But anyway, um, this was simple, pretty easy. And now that I have this piece complete, I'm going to be building at least two other pieces to go along with this. And just to give you an idea of what it will look like once I've added decor pieces, I just borrowed some pieces from other areas in my house and kind of placed on the table to accent it. This isn't the way that it's going to stay. I'm definitely gonna go and get some pieces that I really want to put on here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're into the whole farmhouse rustic look, I hope you guys DIY a table for yourself or upcycle one that you already have. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.